Are you a senior struggling to make ends meet on your fixed income? Have the rising costs of living been putting a major strain on your finances? Well, there's finally some relief on the horizon thanks to a new bill passed by Employment and Social Development Canada. After years of debates and negotiations, the federal government has approved a historic to the Canada Pension Plan benefits for all seniors across the country. That's right, if you're receiving CPP payments, you can expect a substantial boost of $1,650 per year added to your annual payout. Just imagine what you could do with that extra income. Pay off some lingering bills? Upgrade your transportation situation? Treat yourself to some well-deserved luxuries after decades of hard work? The possibilities are wide open. For too long, our senior citizens have had to stretch every dollar. Penny pinching and making difficult sacrifices just to afford basic necessities like housing, healthcare, and groceries. But this CPP increase could be a game changer, providing meaningful financial breathing room. Of course, the devil is in the details. When precisely will these increased benefits kick in? What are the eligibility requirements? How is the $1,650 figure calculated and deemed sufficient for the rising cost of living? We'll break down all the key points in this comprehensive video.so seniors. Get ready, your financial future is about to become a little bit brighter, and for anyone supporting aging loved ones, this could lighten the burden as well. But don't take my word for it. Let's dive into the specifics together. The CPPP increase is too important to miss, so stay tuned. Retirement is supposed to be the dream scenario after decades of hard work, a chance to finally relax, pursue hobbies, spend time with family, and enjoy life without the daily grind of employment. But for far too many Canadian seniors, that dream has become a nightmare trapped in a cycle of poverty and constant financial stress. The facts are staggering. Over 3 million Canadians aged 65 and up rely solely on CPP benefits and old age security as their only sources of income. And the maximum CPP payment, even after accounting for OAS top-ups, currently hovers around just $21,000 per year. That's a shockingly low amount, especially considering the skyrocketing costs of rent, medical care, food, and other basic needs in cities across the country. It's no wonder that studies have found over 600,000 seniors in Canada struggling to make ends meet below the poverty line. Many face impossible choices heating or eating, crucial medications or keeping the lights on. An utterly unacceptable reality for those who built the backbone of our nation through their blood, sweat, and tears over long careers. That's why the new CPP increase of $1,650 per year could be so transformative for millions. On the surface, it may not sound like a massive raise. But for a senior scraping by on the maximum CPP amount, that $1,650 bump represents nearly an 8% increase in their annual income. Suddenly, a few more trips to the grocery store are affordable without painful budgeting. There's breathing room to handle an unexpected expense without drowning in debt. The key details you need to know about this increase are the CPP increase applies to all currently eligible CPP recipients. That means if you are over 60 and receiving CPP already, or you start receiving benefits before 2024, your payouts will increase by $1,650 per year. Both retired workers collecting CPP and surviving spouses slash children receiving survivors pensions are covered. The increase is slated to start being rolled out in monthly installments beginning January 2024. So your first bigger payment will likely arrive in late January or early February of next year. Nope, this raise will apply universally to all CPP recipients regardless of total household income level or tax bracket. Even wealthy seniors getting maximum payouts will see that $1,650 per year increase. If you are under 60 but have worked in Canada and plan to apply for CPP in the future, you will be eligible for the new higher benefit amounts once you reach the age requirements and file. The $1,650 raise will be baked into the starting benefit amount you receive. The CPP increase is being funded through higher contribution rates from both employees and employers across Canada starting in 2024. There will be a marginal rise and deductions taken from each paycheck along with a matching increase from your company, but the cost is being spread across all working Canadians to ease the burden. While the dollar figures may seem modest at first glance, for many seniors this extra $1,650 per year could be the difference between struggling in poverty or finally being able to live their retirement years with basic dignity. For an individual getting maximum CPP slash OS of $21,000, their income just increased by almost 8%. For a couple that's $3,300 more per year. Those are real meaningful raises that will filter through to local economies as well. That little bit of extra disposable income each month means more potential spending at stores and businesses serving retirees. 
It's a lifeline not just for seniors, but for retirement communities and service providers who rely on that economic activity. Of course, critics will argue that the increase still doesn't go far enough. Even after this raise, maximum CPP payments will be just shy of $23,000 annually, hardly a king's ransom, especially for seniors dealing with mortgage payments, car expenses, and medical bills not fully covered by provincial health care plans. And with Canada's inflation rate remaining stubbornly high over 5% as of early 2024, every dollar gets stretched even thinner by the time this kicks in. Some advocate groups representing retirees pushed for even larger boosts to CPPP in the $3,000 plus range annually to ensure all seniors could live above the poverty line. And the Canadian Association for Retired Persons urged the government to tie CPP benefit levels directly to inflation to preserve purchasing power each year. While their concerns are certainly valid, the CPP increase is still a much needed step in the right direction after years of stagnation. It provides vital relief that is better than no relief at all and it will take significant financial pressure off the sandwich generation still supporting their parents while raising children, paying mortgages, and saving for their own retirements. This boost in CPP benefits marks a significant step towards addressing the financial challenges faced by Canadian seniors. However, it's essential to view it not only as a solution but also as a starting point for broader improvements. Firstly, continued increases in CPP benefits could help ensure that seniors maintain their standard of living as the cost of living continues to rise. As expenses such as housing, health care, and groceries continue to increase, ongoing adjustments to CPPP benefits will be crucial in providing seniors with the financial stability they need. Moreover, considering the contributions seniors have made to society throughout their working lives, it's only fair that they receive a retirement that is both comfortable and dignified. This means not just meeting basic needs, but also allowing for some enjoyment and leisure in their later years. Furthermore, the conversation about senior financial security should extend beyond CPP benefits alone. It's important to explore other avenues for supporting retirees, such as enhancing access to affordable housing, ensuring adequate health care coverage, and providing support for seniors who may need assistance with long-term care.by viewing the CPP increase as a catalyst for broader discussions and actions to improve senior financial well-being. We can work towards a future where all Canadian seniors can retire with the dignity and security they deserve. So, if you're one of the millions set to receive these higher CPPP payments, make sure you understand the timeline and prepare accordingly as it rolls out in early 2024. That's a high level overview of the CPPP benefit increase. Um, the biggest raise for seniors that we've seen in decades from the federal government. While the $1,650 annually may not solve the retirement crisis overnight, it will provide real, tangible financial relief to millions struggling to get by. I encourage you to dig even deeper into this issue by checking the links and resources in the description below. You'll find official government websites explaining eligibility details along with budgeting tools and planners to help maximize your CPP benefits once increased. Taking control of your finances in retirement should be an utmost priority. And if this video helped make sense of the CPP changes and sparked ideas for planning ahead, I would highly appreciate it if you could give this video a thumbs up and share it with any seniors or family members supporting aging loved ones who need to understand these updates. A like and share truly goes a long way in allowing me to continue creating videos breaking down complex financial matters. While you're at it, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out when I release new videos diving deep into important money matters. From tax tips to investment advice and unlocking government benefits, this channel is your one-stop shop for becoming financially literate and taking control of your hard-earned income. So go ahead and hit that like button now to support my work. Drop any other questions you have about CPP down in the comments and I'll answer them directly. And most importantly, stay tuned right here for the latest money insights to improve your financial fortunes.